All right, moving on. He says, in the event that the business dot site is no longer available, is it fine to point citation links to the G site? I don't know. Maybe I've not tested with that. I would want to test with that before saying yes, Heath. But I would say use the Google Maps share URL. That's what I do. Um, if a Google business website is not available, like a client submits a project without a Google business website, then we just built, we set up Citation Vault um, to the Google Maps share URL because that's that's available, right? So it's 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 either going to be one or the other. I've not tested with the G. If it's a branded G site, then yeah, you could test with it. I don't have. I've not tested, so I I, I don't know. Uh, I would test with it before giving you a definitive answer. As long as it's the branded G site, you could probably do it, and it 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 would probably. I don't know if it would be helpful or not. Here's the reason why I do what I do with Citation Vault, guys, because I always talk about. Um, let me see for one second. Let me pause this. Give me one second. Here it is. Yes. All right. So um, I always call these the three tier zero assets, right? Because these are the three components that make up the local entity, which would be the money site, organic side, Google business profile, map side, and the Google business website is like a bridge that connects organic to maps. That's the way I, I like to look at it. Uh, so I call those the tier zero assets because they're the components that make up the local entity, self-hosted site and the Google business assets. Now, the G site is an, ex is an extension of the brand, right? That's what I call a tier one branded asset. Um, I've not tested Citation Vault links to tier one branded assets. It may produce an effect. I don't know. You'd have to test. Okay. Hopefully that's clear. I know you mentioned the MapShare URL is the other option, but now that a lot of business.site pages are no longer available for new GBP profiles, but they are available. Is this the viable option or something worth testing? But they are available. <laughs> they are available. I, I don't know how to be any more clear about that. Um, let me share with you guys this again. Um, and I know, Heath, you're no longer in our mastermind, so that's probably why you don't have access to this. I'm going to share in chat both of these. So here's a YouTube tutorial playlist where I show how to optimize the Google business website and all of that, but also how to access the Google business profile manager from the SERP or how to force it. Um, this, If these two don't work, then I always point to this, which I did not publish this. Whoever this gentleman is, Tim something or another published it. But this, every time I've sent this to somebody that says that they can't access the Google business website anymore, they're able to access using this method, which is just a short SOP post about how to how to access the Google business website. Okay. And it's been so helpful that I even commented. I never comment on posts ever, <laughs> ever. <laughs> and I did this time because I was appreciative of how helpful this post has been. So I have shared this with dozens of people. I'm not kidding. And everybody's come back and said, man, that worked. Thank you. So I wanted to thank Tim, whatever his name is. So anyway, I'm going to put this in chat. You guys can try that yourself. Should be in the replay as well. Um, but yeah, and by the way, if you guys end up doing it and find it, it did work for you and it was helpful, share it on Facebook or Twitter or whatever. Give the guy some love. You know what I mean? I'm always appreciative of somebody that produces something so helpful like this that makes it free. Uh, you know, give them, give them some love. So anyway, um, but to back to your question, Heath, uh, it's worth a test to try G site or even an ID page. Think about that. I've not tested that, but that would be my, my first choice over a G site would be an ID page. No kidding. Because again, an ID page, think about that. At least if you host it the way that I always host ID pages on Amazon S3, I've been doing that since I developed the ID page method in 2019. And that's not a joke. I've always kept them on Amazon S3. So that would, and I think of the ID page as the entity home, so to speak, um, which again, if it's a typical money site, I'm going to canonicalize that ID page to the money site. So, uh, but if you want the ID page to, to appear in search results, which in some cases you want it to, then um, I would not, I would canonicalize it to itself, if that makes sense. But that would be my first choice over a G site. A G site would probably be a a good test too, but I would probably test with the ID page also as an alternative option. So anyway, hopefully that's clear, guys. 
Will Scott says, I've used that hyper tricks tactic a handful of times. It's hundred percent for me. Yep. That's what I heard, man. I've not heard any other problems whatsoever. Um, uh, from some of the other methods that I've shared, which are just simple methods that some people come back and say, man, I, I still can't get it to show up, which is just deleting the website from the profile, saving it. The, the, if you have the regular, a regular website and the Google business profile manager is not showing, you just go in and delete the website, save it, come back a few minutes later, open up the editor again um, to edit the deep business details. And then you go down and it has a prompt that says, create a website, a free Google, a free website with Google or something like that. And then it takes you in a Google website manager. When you click the button, then you publish the site. After the site's published, you go back in to edit your profile settings again, and then you can clear that and add your regular website URL back in. And that had worked for, mo for most people, but sometimes people say that ah, still doesn't work. And so then I point them to this and it works. That's what I've heard. Um, so yeah, anyway, moving on.